Hello everyone, today I am going to apply for my GMRS license and I'll bring you along with me. I'm not going to tell you what GMRS is. It's basically, there's other videos that tell you what it is. Basically, it's channel, it's, it's channelized radios that, that you need a license to use. And so I'm going to apply for my license today. I heard it takes a long time to get it, so I'm going to go ahead and apply. I don't even have a radio yet. So here are some GMRS radios, and I want I want to get a mobile station, I think, and just mount it in the car. That way it's just there all the time. But if you have any ideas of what good radios are, please put them in the comments below. Radio and antenna for a car, a base mount, let me know. All right, these are, these are channelized radios, and I'm going to apply for a license right now, and I'm going to show you how to do that. Okay, so this video is assuming that you are already a ham radio operator. If not, I don't know how to get your license for you. But if you are a ham radio operator, you're going to need your FRN number. And that's like a, an ID number that you get when you become a ham radio operator. You take your test and apply and all that stuff. So to get that number, because you probably forgot what it was, you can Google your call sign FCC N9YO and it comes right up right at the top there. And your FRN number is right here. So you're going to copy that and you're going to need that to apply to for this license. Now all the links for these things will be in the bottom uh, for what I'm doing. So all you need to do is go to the description and look for the links. Okay, now that you've got your FRN, maybe you have it in a tab in your browser or something. You can Google apply GMRS license. Or you can go to the description of this video and I'll have it down in there anyway. So once you click on that, you will see something like this. And you need to log into the FCC online filing system, which you should be able to do if you have an amateur call sign. And here's where you're going to need your FCC registration number. And then I was lucky that I remembered my password. Okay, so if you did happen to forget your password, you're going to have to contact tech support. It'll probably take a couple days. Sorry about that. That's going to be annoying. So up here, once you're in your license manager page, should be FCC Wireless Licensing Online Systems License Manager. Apply for a new license. And when I first looked at this, I'm like, where's GMRS? I expected it to be right here, but it's not there. It's at the very bottom, at least for now. ZA General Mobile Radio General Mobile Radio Systems, I assume. All right, so we're going to hit continue. Temporary, no. All this stuff is no. You're not exempt from fees. I guess you could try. You could try that if you want to. I'm going to hit continue. All right, and I get this screen. I'm going to fill this out with first name, last name, street address, all that. I'm going to blur this out just so the average Joe, you know, doesn't mess with me. And that went smoothly. Here is the applicant. Has the applicant or any party of this application convicted of a felony? Well, they don't need to know that, do they? Just kidding. That's ridiculous. I'm going to use my radio for bad stuff, right? Okay, and here we are. It's kind of like a continue to certify. There's, oh God, it said $70, didn't it? I think it said $70. I saw that right as I clicked. But... All right, I'm going to do it anyway because it's 10 years. It, it applies. I heard it applies to your immediate family, so my entire family can use these radios. Um, I'm going to do it anyway just because I'm a ham radio guy and I want to use it. So Now, it says it's due, so I, I, I applied, but now i got to pay for it, right? So I'm going to go to payment options. Well, I already did this. make a payment and I'm gonna do I'll just use credit card or something like that and finally after you submit if you want to check on your status you log back into your license manager go over to here to my applications not my applications and you will see a waiting action submitted that's where I am right now but I should be good I don't know how long it takes I'll let you know anyway that's the end of this tutorial i'm going to have gmrs and i don't know when i'm actually going to get it or what radio to get again let me know in the description or links below what kind of radio do you have do you like gmrs tell me that i learn a lot from your comments i really appreciate them thanks for joining me